When I was reintroducing the binomial expansion, I introduced something known as the range of validity, or the, va the values that the expansion is valid for, and which, and so that it will converge to a number. Otherwise, it diverges. And for the original expansion, 1 plus x to the n, this is true when x mod x is less than 1. So, in other words, x is between minus 1 and 1. So this is true when n uh, is a real number. Okay. So if we had to say what values are these valid for, then we use that same expansion mod x is less than 1. That's not saying that all of these are valid when mod x is less than 1. That's not true. If I'm looking at 1 plus 3x to the minus 4, I need to make sure I've got 1 plus or 1 minus first, which I have. And I have for the first 3. Something strange is going to happen for this last one. Okay, So you just replace what you have there, that plus 3x, with that x that I have there. So I've got 3x, the mod of 3x is less than 1. And so then... Um, we can divide through by 3, and I get mod x is less than 1 third. Okay? So, that's how you can write down the range of values that it's valid for. So, you replace the x with 3x, divide both sides by 3, and you get mod x is less than a third. Which means that x must be between minus 1 third and positive 1 third. If I have 1 minus 5x to the power of a half then I can replace the um, x with minus 5x this time. But of course, um, shouldn't really have that there. the modulus sign will get rid of the negative, and I can divide both sides by 5. So I can write that as mod x is less than 1 fifth. For this third example, replace the x with minus 2 ninths x is less than 1. The modulus sign will take care of the negative, and I can divide both sides by 2 ninths, so I get mod x must be less than 9 halves in order to be valid. Then I've got this final example down here, this 2 minus 7x to the power of a third. Now I don't just replace the mod x with minus 7x. Um, I've first of all got to factorise what is inside that bracket. So I've got two lots of 1 minus 7 halves, oh, 7 halves x, sorry, to the power of a third, which is 2 to the power of a third times 1 minus 7 halves x to the power of a third. So it is looking at the rangeability of this expansion, this 1 minus 7 halves x to the power of a third. So I can replace the x with minus 7 halves x, divide both sides by the 7 halves, the modular sign takes care of the negative, and I get that mod x has to be less than 2 sevenths, so between minus 2 sevenths and positive 2 sevenths. And that is how we can write down the range of validity for a binomial expansion of this type.